This is the workflow right here, and I'm quickly going to run you through how it works before diving into each of these nodes and seeing what each of those does. So we're going to start off with a form in which we're going to be taking two inputs, which is going to be the video URL of the video where you're explaining your automation. In this case, we're using YouTube videos. And so ideally, what you would want to do is you want to record yourself talking about this automation and save it to your YouTube. If you don't want to make your video public, I would recommend just uploading it and setting up as unlisted. And then with that, we're going to be able to extract the transcript because what we're going to be using is the transcript. We're also asking for a second file, which is going to be a screenshot of the system. As you can see in here, I've provided this specific screenshot of this automation that was about that video I mentioned. So with that, we have a step where we are extracting the file, which is basically passing the screenshot into a binary string. Then we're using AP5 to extract the transcript of that video. We're using the code node to format it nice. Then we have these two steps, which is just converting the image from binary into the actual file. And then we're generating the documentation. We're using two steps in here. The first step is going to be using ChatGPT to analyze the image or the screenshot and providing it the transcript so that it can create a description of what the workflow looks like before passing it to this basic LLM chain, which talks to Claude and creates the actual text for that documentation. And the reason why we're using Claude is because Claude is heavily trained on N8N. You might've seen videos online of people creating workflows using Cloud Code. So it's really the most well-trained model when it comes to N8N, and that's why we're using it. We're using it through Open Router, which I'll get into in a little bit later. This is returning a JSON, which includes the title of the documentation, as well as all the text, which we're then parsing. And then we're adding it into a Google Docs. 